in the world of upcoming movies that I'm really excited about, we were just talking about Thunderbolts, The Accountant, the Ben Affleck, J.K. Simmons, John Bernthal, awesome and terribly underwatched and underrated film. I loved this movie. Uh, and it crashed at the box office, did not do well at the box office at all. But we always held that hope because the way that movie ends, I mean, it's just begging for a sequel to see the continuing adventures of these two brothers. And we waited for years and years and years. And then it was just a couple of weeks ago that we got the official announcement that they're going to do it. Director Gavin O'Connor is coming back to direct it again as well. Well, that didn't take long because they've started shooting the movie. Uh, ben Affleck has shared, and the production team has shared a photo from the set. It's nothing interesting. It's just a hallway with the uh, clapper on it, showing a ca the accountant with director Gavin O'Connor, just that, just showing that they've started shooting this movie. And by the way, it kind of slipped out the other day. I missed it, but they've even put out the synopsis for the accountant too. And the synopsis reads like this. When her former boss is killed by an by unknown assassins, Treasury agent Mary Beth Medina, played by Adai Robinson, who was also in the first movie, is forced to contact Christian Wolf, Ben Affleck, to solve the murder. The logline reads, with the help of his estranged but highly lethal brother Brax, that's John Bernthal, Chris applies his brilliant mind and less than legal methods to piece together the unsolved puzzle. As they get closer to the truth, the trio draw the attention of some of the most ruthless killers alive, all intent on putting a stop to their search. Perfect. <laughs> That's perfect. That's exactly what I wanted to hear. I wanted, because look, I would have been fine too if this was just Ben Affleck doing the sequel, but I really wanted John Bernthal in there with him as well as the two, you know, the brothers of destruction, Ray. Mm. They're the new brothers of destruction. <laughs> Forget Undertaker and Kane. It's it's Ben Affleck and John Bernthal. No. And that's Godzilla and Kong. Well, or it might be Godzilla and <laughs> Kong. We'll see. And the the fact that we see them all bring this whole thing back together, I want to see a good story where they're going to lean into cuz Ben Affleck's character is supposed to be brilliant like beyond brilliant he's on the spectrum and brilliant and i want to see them use his brilliance it sounds like they're going to do that as he's unraveling trying to piece together uh, a mystery to solve lots of violence fighting killers this is everything i wanted to hear i really wish i knew we were doing this story today because i actually started oh, i was in the show notes i started that <laughs> Wait, no, no, no. In the show. no no i meant i, I know I, I meant last night i meant last night right oh, okay because like around 12 i started this movie i haven't seen it yet the the first accountant yeah and then all i remember was Oh, he put the jigsaw puzzle together back, like front side, the, the other way. Mm -hmm. It was flipped. Yeah, face down. down. I was like, that's crazy. And then it was just dark. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what happened. After. He got I you. Wanna, the hitman got you. I want to finish it today, so we'll see. It's, I, I just should let people know. An experience, what, what the experience of going to a movie with Ray Orr is like. Because we go to see Ghostbusters Stop last week. Stop being boring. Okay, I'm going to stop you right there. We go to stop see being Ghostbusters boring. last week. And like about 15, 20 minutes into the movie, you know, Ray sitting beside me. I think he's watching the movie and all he hears. I love, he's like, he's like, I love when oh, no God. one has a, a a seat right next to me because I could do that little side. Yeah, you do the little side lean. So, so I, I don't snore like, and he has to tap me so I get my full sleep on. So, <laughs> so I do like this whole thing. Ray, you know you're, you're snoring and disturbing boring. other people. Stop being long. Stop being boring. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> anyway, Chris, <laughs> the account is coming. I can't even remember if you saw the original account. I did. Okay, and now we got the sequel. We've got a, now a description, mm -hmm. which is, I'm not going to lie, is exactly what I wanted to hear. But anyway, where's this movie right now for you on your anticipation level? Did the new description move the needle at all? What do you think? I saw the show notes and went, oh, we're talking about this again. Um, <laughs> okay. Not a fan <laughs> of the first one. I The first one is so okay. It's a fine movie. It's so okay. <laughs> it's It was a, oh, yeah, okay, it's fine. Not just okay. It was so it's okay. so okay. Um, <laughs> I, I do like Bernthal. Bernthal. I like Bernthal, and that's what's made me excited. And this synopsis is exciting to me. I like that kind of plot point in here. It sounds like it'll be a fun, bloody mess. <laughs> it is one of those things. So it came out in 2016. It came out in 2016. Yeah, we're talking eight years. And it's it's crazy. still in high school. I was just a baby. <laughs> I was just a baby. <laughs> oh, don't. 
<laughs> Don't you two? It's a pain. Oh God, God, man, why? How, well, can, can I ask? No. When 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 a movie that doesn't make money, the first one, <laughs> doesn't make money, it, it may have like a little uh, a fan base to it. Yeah. How how does one get a sequel like this made in such after such a long time? Is it just one person that push pushes for it? Is it like? John. The studio just saying, "Hey, we're gonna yeah. give it a, is it <laughs> this a, John Candy guy keeps talking about it? Maybe I don't know. Maybe that means some people will watch it. Does the studio go like? Ha, do they have like a sequel on the shelf and be like, oh, we have nothing to do? It, no, it's, it's rare. It like it's yeah. it's here's the because it's a, it's not just one thing. It's two things. It's rare that you get a movie that you've waited this long since the first one came out because we're on eight years, and the first one was not financially successful. Like, sometimes you get a movie that came out, not financially successful, two years later you find out they're going to do a sequel, and you go, huh, really? Okay, okay. That doesn't happen often, but it happens sometimes. And it also happens sometimes that, oh, remember that movie from, like, 2005? Yeah, they're doing a sequel to it now. Really? After all this time? But the first one had some success. I can't remember the last time I heard about a sequel coming from a movie that was that long ago and did not do well at the box office. A part of me thinks, Ray, honestly, that this might be Ben Affleck. That yeah, Ben yeah. Affleck is maybe using say, his weight to get it, it done. Is it the studio actor relationship that, yeah. that gets involved, where they they they, they feel uh, that 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 they they'll go by his uh, opinion? Though, well, here's here's what I, this is a guess. Okay, this is pure speculation. I'm creating a scenario. I can imagine a situation where Affleck wanted to do this one, and. The student, like you said, the talent relationship, all that kind of stuff. And I can imagine him saying, I'll tell you what, you you get JK to sign back up, you get John Bernthal to come back, and you know, all that kind of stuff. Ah, and see. then maybe Affleck got on the phone and said, Hey, Bernthal, if we do this other one, will you come back and do it? Yes. And you know what? This is not an expensive movie to make. No, no, no. Definitely. It's right? Amazon. It's also Amazon Studios yeah. doing it. Yeah, it's also Amazon Studios, and they produce a lot of stuff. They put a lot they of money, money behind things. They but got money somewhere. They got money, but I guarantee you they're, this is going to be a very modest budget. This yeah. isn't going to be like a $120 million movie or anything like I'm that. I'm wondering, man, if this is going to get the Roadhouse treatment, or is this going into Ooh. theaters? Yeah, see, th okay, mm. that's the last point I wanted to bring up. The only oh. question left is, is this going to be theatrical or not? And my guess is... Amazon is waiting to see how the movie turns out. Mm. That's my guess. Because if it turns out to be a stinker, they don't want to make a commitment to putting in theaters and then realize they have a stinker on their hands. No stinkers. <laughs> we had a rule. No Let stinkers. It stink us. And, and that's probably it. But I have a feeling that if the movie turns out well and you've got, you know, Ben Affleck, J.K. Simmons, John Bernthal, and it turns out right, I think they'll give it a theatrical this release. This movie needs Conor McGregor. <laughs> <laughs> it does. I love this Roadhouse remake. I just keep playing it over my head how how good of a movie it is. I, I hey, Affleck! Hey, hey, Affleck! I, did anybody... I hate that I live in a timeline <laughs> where those were words that came out of a human mouth. <laughs> what this movie yeah. needs is Conor McGregor. What? Did you guys no. see the, the thing I threw on the, what the an easy Instagram uh, yes. post? Where they, they, they intercut uh, <laughs> McGregor, but he's at like a restaurant. It's like when your family gets seated and you come out of the restroom looking for them. And he's like, where the F is everybody? <laughs> he's like walking through the restaurant. I got to see everyone. that. <laughs> come on, man. Guys, we want to take a second to thank a sponsor of today's video, Miracle Made. Did you know that your temperature at night can have one of the greatest impacts on your sleep quality? If you wake up too hot or too cold, I highly recommend you check out Miracle Made's bed sheets. Inspired by NASA, Miracle Made uses silver infused fabrics and makes temperature regulating bedding so that you can sleep at the perfect temperature all night long. When they arrived at our house, my wife Anne loved the feel of them so much, she couldn't even wait for me to get home to put them on our bed. Miracle Made has self cleaning. These sheets are infused with silver that prevents up to 99.7 of bacterial growth, leaving them to stay cleaner and fresh three times longer than other sheets. Miracle Sheets also have incredible comfort and quality. Miracle Sheets are luxuriously comfortable without the high price tag of other luxury brands and feel as nice, if not nicer, than sheets used by some five-star hotels. So go to TryMiracle, that's T-R-Y-M-I-R-A-C-L-E dot com slash Campia to try Miracle Made Sheets today. And whether you're buying them for yourself or as a gift for a loved one, if you order today, you can save over 40%. And if you use our promo code, 
Campia at checkout, you'll get three free towels and save an extra 20%. Miracle is so confident in their product, it's backed with a 30-day money-back guarantee. So if you aren't 100% satisfied, you will get a full refund. So upgrade your sleep with Miracle Made. Go to trymiracle.com slash Campia and use the code Campia to claim your free three-piece towel set and save over 40% off. Again, that's trymiracle.com slash Campia to treat yourself. Anyway, guys, question is for you. What do you think about their shooting the movie now? We got a synopsis for it. I think the synopsis sounds great. Whatever you guys think, jump down into the comment section below and let us know your thoughts. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching this video. Make sure you like the video, leave a comment and subscribe to our channel. And don't forget, we have a daily podcast called the John Campy Show podcast available on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or your favorite podcasting app of choice. Go and subscribe to it today so it'll be there when you need it.